I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna get this cork out without breaking the bottle. To pull the cork from the wine bottle, all you need is a cloth napkin. Fold the napkin so it can easily be inserted into the wine bottle. Don't wrap it up too tight though, because you need to make a trough for the cork to rest in once the napkin's inside of the bottle. Slide the napkin into the bottle so the corner fold opens up at the end and makes space for the cork to lie in. Wiggle the bottle around so the cork is seated lengthwise on top of the napkin like so. Slowly begin to pull the napkin out of the bottle. As the cork reaches the neck, you'll notice it becomes difficult to pull it out, but with steady pressure, the napkin will pull the cork along with it. There you go. Cork is out and the bottle is still intact. Pretty cool, huh? So we've seen how to do it, but why does it work? Well, the answer, friction. You ever rubbed your hands together on a cold day? Notice how they heat up? Well, that's friction at work. And if you take your hands and you rub them together faster and push harder, you get more heat. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Come on, let me show you what I mean. Friction is the result of two things. How hard two objects are pushing together and the properties of their surfaces. On a microscopic level, surfaces have a tendency to look more like sandpaper with tiny little peaks and valleys. The interaction of these peaks and valleys are what create friction. Cork against glass produces more friction than cloth against glass. To illustrate that fact, we have a cork mat and a napkin resting on a piece of glass. As the piece of glass is elevated, you'll notice the cloth napkin slides well before the cork mat does. In the wine bottle trick, we introduce the cloth napkin to grab onto the cork and reduce the friction with the wine bottle. To illustrate the interaction of the surfaces, we're going to put the cloth napkin on this piece of glass, our cork mat on top of the cloth napkin, and a weight on top of the cork mat to represent the compression of the cork as it squeezes through the neck. When the glass is elevated, you'll see that the surfaces of the cloth to the glass slide well before the cork to the cloth. So next time you get a cork stuck in your favorite wine bottle, show your friends how to get it out, and then maybe explain to them your newfound love for friction. For ViewDo.com, I'm Alan Puccinelli.